season five is definitely a turning point for Cheers and it's a season that I feel definitely focused on some characters more than others, namely Sam and Diane and a little bit of Frasier as well. And I'm going to go through the points that I found the most interesting and share the subplots that I thought were particularly fascinating. I will also be giving spoilers for what happened at the end and also it'll spoil what happened at the end of season four but I'm assuming that you've already seen season four. If you haven't seen season five definitely give it a watch before listening to me ramble on. This is definitely an interesting turning point. So the first thing the most important thing is that we find out at the very beginning that Sam was actually on the phone to Diane. You'll remember the last episode of season four aired on a cliffhanger with Sam proposing to somebody on the phone and we didn't know who it was. It was Diane and she turns him down and asks for a more romantic proposal. And there's a bit of a will they, won't they? Is he going to do it again? I thought Diane's reaction was a bit over the top. She should have just said yes or maybe not. I never... I've never really worked out if I was for Sam and Diane or if I didn't think they'd really work. And I still, to this day, cannot really decide what I think. But the one couple I do love, Fraser and Lilith. Lilith was in this a little while ago and then she comes back into it in season five when she has to appear on a talk show with Fraser. And we have this fantastic scene unfolding where they're both guests on the show and they begin flirting, basically heavy petting, live on on television. And I love it. It's great to see Bibi Newark with her hair down as Lilith. And honestly, I think that was a great way to bring Lilith back into it. I love Lilith. And, you know, as I discuss the seasons after this, there are a lot of exciting things. And I think she's fantastic. And that episode, I truly loved. One of my favourites. We also get a really brilliant episode here from Carla because she gets the new house. It's quite cheap. But then the, she figures out that it's probably haunted and everybody has to stay there with her overnight or that's the intention at any rate. And it's quite nice to see everybody coming together and helping Carla out. And it's always interesting to see Carla's vulnerabilities because she is obviously very tough and you know she puts on this front but when she's scared about something, it, it's nice to see that kind of vulnerable side of her that needs protecting. And Rhea Perlman is just absolutely fantastic. Similarly, um, well, it's not a similar episode at all, but in the sense that we get a, an environment outside of Cheers, Thanksgiving Orphans is a brilliant, brilliant episode. This is the episode where they have the Thanksgiving food fight. And that is one of the most beautiful scenes of any TV show I have ever seen. It's just so gorgeous having this de facto family coming together on Thanksgiving and, you know, just being together and being appreciative for one another and Coach gets a mention. It's it's beautiful. It's a really beautiful scene and one of my favourite scenes, certainly in Cheers and probably in any sitcom. It's not very funny, but it's very sentimental and I imagine it would have been an awful lot of fun to film as well. The whole court case thing with Sam and Diane I found very peculiar, interesting, but an odd choice, a weird direction for it to take. Once they do finally get engaged, it was it was a bit of a sense of relief because this had been going on for quite some time. Realistically, it's been going on for five seasons. And I still didn't know where they were going to go with this. And I will obviously discuss the ending of the season in a moment. The other two things I want to mention, first of all, though we get our first introduction to Eddie LeBeck, I can't say much more about that in case you've only seen up to season five. But Eddie LeBeck is a character I was never that bothered about, but I liked the development it allowed Carla to have as a character because it gave her a new focus, a new person in her life, and... You know, we get some interesting things thereafter. The last episode that I love in this one is Cheers the Motion Picture, where Woody is making a video to send to Hanover to show his family that he's got a good bunch of people around him. And they all try and put together this film, and it's a lot of fun to watch. 
really thoroughly enjoyable. The most important part is, of course, the final episode where Diane leaves to pursue her career as a novelist. She'll come back in six months when she will marry Sam. That's the end of that. Um, I don't... Do I say what... No, I'm not going to say what happens in season six, just in case you haven't got there. But I will just say that six months... Yeah, maybe not. I really like Shelley Long, and I think she's a great actress. Diane and I are quite alike in some ways, and as such, I found her character quite hard to get on with. So, her not marrying Sam at the end of season five, I I was actually tiny a little bit happy about that. I don't know. I can go into more detail about that when I discuss seasons uh, six onwards. Season five is definitely one of the strongest, one of my favourites. We have some great episodes, great characters introduced. Obviously, it starts off of the back of a cliffhanger and ends on quite a dramatic note. So it's, you know, it's top and tailed. The middle is brilliant. Definitely one of the strongest seasons.